She's probably been asking for it all her life. Yeah. Look what she done to that barrow boy and, and a cabbie and a junk man. All of them out of business in ten minutes. I promise you, Mrs. Wilberforce, they've no intention of letting you take them to the police. So the Professor Marcus said... He was lying. At this very moment, they believe me to be... to be bargaining for your silence. These men are criminals. And I, too, am one of them. All the same, I don't like it. Shut up, will ya? Shut up! Please, please, let us try to be patient. All I ask you is to believe me when I say, well, a spark of decency remains. I was moved, madam, by your appeal. I shall go to the police, even if the others do not. But I, I need your help. Stay here. Guard the money. Give me time to reach the officers of the law and bring them back with me. You do trust me. Yes, but... talking to Major Courtney. Wait downstairs. He's gone. The Major's gone. He's crossed us. Mrs. Wilberforce. It's gone. The lolly's gone. He didn't go the back way. He's done it. He took them off. I've nothing to say. I'm going to stay buttoned up. 